important. What is the biggest trend that is talked about in this industry that you disagree with? Well, I don't know if it's a unique challenge to right now, but I, I think getting caught up in in trends, and it's not to say that we should ignore trends. It's not to say that we should throw cryptocurrency out the window and it never has a place in a portfolio. I think it's important to understand these things, but so oftentimes there's the latest fad, whatever it is. And then the risk, of course, is that we put too much concentration on it. So I, I think cryptocurrency could be guilty of that. I think there's always a bubble someplace. Um, but you know, other times there's been tech stocks, it's been real estate. It's not getting caught up and getting so focused on one sector. Uh, I think that's a, a huge thing. Um, I think from a from a practice management standpoint, I think it's also just making sure that we're articulating our value. And again, this isn't necessarily a new issue, but it always keeps coming up is performance, investment performance, and and trying to sell our value by investment performance or past performance that somebody's gotten on their portfolios. And I think anybody who's honest will tell you they have good years, they've got bad years, and there's lots of different ways you can build portfolios and uh, you know kind of design people's asset allocation. But at the end of the day, there's only so much we can control there. And there's a huge amount of value that we're providing on things that are not the investment portfolio, at least from a design standpoint. If you use one mutual fund versus the other, in the end, if you hold on to them long enough, they're probably not going to be that far different. Yet somebody's decision as far as how much they put into their 401k, or do they do the Roth 401k or the traditional 401k, uh, or do they freak out and cash out of, of their beautiful diversified portfolio because you know, the markets drop 10, 20, 30%. Those are the big decision points that will have just massive implications over time. Uh, tax considerations, estate considerations, all those areas. Again, there's these big, big decisions that we know because we see these situations every day, right? We're having these conversations with people and then understand the implications after somebody dies or after somebody blows out of their portfolio because they panic. Huge, huge consequences. So I, I think just going back and focusing on what it is that we're really good at and what our true value is gosh you couldn't pre you could preach that and i'd let you preach and preach and preach that for we could i'll let this podcast go for hours i couldn't agree more with that <laughs> i mean that is uh i think that advisors are finding themselves stuck in this battle with the with you know the robos and the fee compression that that they're questioning their value and i tell them and i've written it on on social a lot i talk about it on this podcast don't question your value as an advisor. You are valuable and people are willing to pay for that value because they know how valuable you are.